Hey guys, this is Rolando Rodriguez from xgains.com where we got workouts that work, eats that satisfy, and everything else you need to reach your lifestyle goals. something I get a few emails a couple, you know a couple of times a month but it's whether or not someone should be calorie counting it, it, it and it there's pretty much three different groups that it breaks you know down into on on who should be calorie counting counting and who shouldn't first and foremost if you've never calorie counted and or tracked your nutrition then I suggest you do this because we need to know what we're putting in our mouths, okay? Especially if you're starting a new workout regimen or a new diet plan or eating style, you have to know what's going into your mouth. So if you've never tracked your nutrition, by all means start doing so, okay? It's gonna take, you know, two to four months before it becomes second nature to you and you start to sort of realize how many calories are in certain things and how much fat and protein and carbs, you know, your macronutrients, as well as fibers and sugars. You want to know and get a feel for, you know, how much is in that donut? How much is in a small chocolate chip cookie versus a large chocolate chip cookie? How many grams of protein are in a piece of, you know, four ounces of chicken versus four ounces of ground beef? And on top of that, not only are we wanting to know the nutritional values of the food that's going into our mouths, but we need to take mental notes and actually physical notes, write it down on how you feel when you eat certain foods. There's certain people that take, you know, and feel better when they have higher carbs. Other people feel better when they have higher fats, okay? And knowing these things, knowing, you know, I had a high fat day and I worked out awesome the next day, or I had a high carb intake one day and I worked out amazing the following day, or I felt bloated for the next two days when I had whatever the case may be. These are things, how we feel and how we react and how we perform based off of the foods we eat is just as important to note as the calories and the nutritional values. As, you know, you want to know the fiber, you want to know the sugar, you want to know the protein, the carbs, the fats, but you also want to know how you feel. Okay, because that's going to make a huge difference in when you start to eat intuitively. Okay, and that will allow you really to stop tracking. Now, the people that are trying to reach their goals and are not reaching their goals need to calorie count. I don't care if you've done it for four, five, six months and you think you know how to eat right for you. You think you know what you need to eat when you're going to lose weight or you think you know what you're going to need to eat when you gain weight. Well, guess what? If you're eating the way you think you know and it's not working, couple of things might be happening. Yeah, in the past, when you ate that way, you lost weight. But for some reason, it's not working now. Because remember, everything works until it doesn't, right? And when it doesn't work, you have to go back to the drawing board and you have to go back to knowing what you're intaking, actually taking note of it so that you can see, I ate this, you know, the last seven days and I made this amount of progress or lack thereof. So like when we talked about in the other video, readjusting your micronutrients, well, you're going to have to readjust the, you know, the type of nutrients that are coming into your body and or your workout regimen. But today we're talking about nutrients. So if you think you know what you're doing, but you're not re reaching your goals, be it gain lean muscle mass, lose weight or maintain, then you have to go back to tracking your calories. The people that do not need to track their calories are the people that are reaching their goals. You're building the lean body mass that you want, eating what you're you know, wanting to eat, eating what you're intuitively putting into your mouth. Awesome. Or let's say that you're reaching your goals, but you feel like crap. Guess what? You're going to need to take track of what you're eating. Okay? Because if you're feeling like crap, you're feeling like crap for a reason. So... One caveat with all this being said, especially if you're new to the, you know, calorie slash nutrition ta uh, tracking game. I personally love my fitness pal and there's a lot of apps out there, free apps that allow you to track your nutrition. Well, you need to know that the open source, uh, cal you know, apps that count and track your nutrition 
are sort of dangerous if you've never counted calories or tracked your nutrition before. Point in case, there might be uh, a, if you run a search for four ounces of chicken and somebody has, well, it's 100 calories and, you know, 24 grams of protein. And then there's another entry that says, you know, Publix chicken breast. And it has 200 calories, okay, and 48 grams of protein. Well, guess what? Somebody inserted one of those two wrong. And you have to know, you have to be proactive, especially when you're starting this, with reading labels and knowing what, you know, doing a bit of research so you actually do know what's going into your mouth, okay? So it's not as easy, especially if you're starting, as going to MyFitnessPal and just selecting at random or selecting, you know, this peanut butter has less calories, so I'm going to select this one because this one's got higher calories and I don't want to have that you know, be on the list of, of what I ate today. So I'm going to go with a lower calorie one, the input for, for peanut butter. Well, guess what? That one could be wrong. So you have to be proactive. You have to actually read labels and do a bit of research and start to know and get a feel for, you know, the, the, the calories and the nutrition that are going into your body so that when you start using these apps, you have enough knowledge to select intelligently which inputs are correct. My fitness pal is doing this cool little thing now. It's got a green circle with a check uh, that symbolizes whether or not an input has been verified. But between me and you, I've seen a couple of those inputs that I don't agree with myself. Uh, ideally, you would want to run uh, a web search real quick and, and find out how much it actually has or just pick up and read the label if you can. Anyways, that's it for now. This has been Rolando Rodriguez with xgains.com. That's x dash the... Uh, symbol not the word gains.com let me know if you got any questions or comments down below and i hope you guys have a fantastic week peace